Hi YouTube artist, I'm Kelly Hernig and welcome to In The Studio. If you have watched my channel for any time, you know I am in love with Buff Titanium. I use it on everything, absolutely everything. So I thought it would be fun to do a comparison of all the Buff Titaniums out there. I think I have five or six for us to try and I'm anxious to see just how different the brands are. Aren't you? Let's go paint. It's been a while since I did a comparison color chart on my channel and I wanted to look at Buff Titanium. I used to use Daniel Smith. I am currently using Da Vinci Titan Buff. I've put together six different brands but I want to try them and see the differences. By just pouring them out they are a lot different in color. So I have American Journey Buff Titanium I have Da Vinci Titan Buff. I have Daniel Smith Buff Titanium. Isaro Beige Titanium. Van Gogh Titanium Buff. And then Roman Schmal Buff Titanium in a full pan. I just want you to see the differences already. So that's them minus the Roman Schmal. Big difference in colors. And then the three colors I'm mixing it with are, they're on my new palette so I thought it would be fun to play with. American Journey Mint Julep, Daniel Smith Pearline Maroon, and Van Gogh Indigo. I'll be using a handmade sketchbook. This sketchbook is 10 by 7 and a half, and it is Fabriano cold press 90 pound watercolor paper. You can see I already have it gridded out for my six colors up here and then we're going to play with mixing down here so that it looks similar to something like this. And I will be splashing because I like to see the effect that water has on them. I will be using the little porcelain palette here from Bowerbird. I really like the size of this. As you can see it's almost the same size as this so it's probably like six by nine but I love the size and that it's totally smooth. And I will be using the Princeton Snap Brush in a number 10 and the flat shader so it's just a chisel point like that. We're gonna start with American Journey Buff Titanium American Journey is made to buy Da Vinci for Cheap Joes. I really like the American Journey brand. It's a lot of my lighter colors on my palette is American Journey. And then I'm going to splash. When I splash, I dip my three fingers to the, to the knuckle there. And then I kind of take it like this and fling it down. I'm not doing a lighter version of the Buff Titanium, so this will help me see what the lighter ver version actually looks like. The next color is Da Vinci Titan Buff. This is the one I currently have on my new palette. You can see a big difference already just laying them next to one another. You see the difference? Look how buttery and creamy this one was, yellow, and then this one's a little dirtier. I will be splashing them all, I just won't be showing you that on camera. The next one is Daniel Smith Buff Titanium. This one I used for, oh gosh, years and years. But I'm giving the Da Vinci one and a trial this year. <laughs> Wow, 
what I can say between the Da Vinci and the Daniel Smith is the Daniel Smith, that's the one I'm doing now, has a lot more yellow undertones where the Da Vinci to me has a lot more green or gray undertones. The next one is the Isero Beige Titanium and this one is the darkest out of the group. So I'm anxious to see what this does. If you haven't worked with the Isero, Isero paints, they're very creamy. I really like them a lot. I've done a color swatching video, brands you are interested in, you can check it out on my channel. The next color is the Van Gogh Titanium Buff, and this one seems to be the whitest of the group. And then we have Roman Schmalz Buff Titanium. Look at the different values already and the different shade and tones. So this was the American Journey. That is definitely the yellowest. This is the Da Vinci Titan Buff. And to me, it, it reads a little green. It's not the dirtiest, that would be the Isero, but it's the one that I'm really intrigued by now. <laughs> this is the Daniel Smith Buff Titanium, and you can see it's a yellow that has a little bit of brown in it. You can see here in the dark areas. Isero Beige Titanium, definitely the darkest, and it's really pretty. It almost, almost reminds me of concrete. And this is Van Gogh, the Titanium Buff, and it is definitely on the wider side. It looks really nice. I didn't realize it was that color. <laughs> That's a really pretty color. And then we have the Roman Schmal tit Buff Titanium, which de is definitely more on the yellow. It's darker than, so if, if I had to rate them in far as yellow, I would go with the American Journey, then the Daniel Smith, then the um, Roman Schmal. It just seems to have a little more, a more yellow brownish kind of tone but I'm anxious to see how they mix. Now when I mix, what I'm gonna do is just do a little bit of a mix and try to get three lines of color, adding more color as we go. So I'm gonna start with like a buff titanium and then add the colors and let's see what happens. So this is the American Journey buff titanium. Gonna add a little bit of the mint green. I just want to see a shift. That's all I'm looking for. Now I'm going to add a little more green. Isn't that pretty? The next color is Paraline Maroon with that buff titanium. I have to remember, a little goes a long way. This Paraline Maroon is a very bold color. Just a tiny touch. See, I got way too much there. Oh wow, what a pretty color. I want to make sure that they change each time, get a little bolder. That would make beautiful skin tones. That was a Daniel Smith Paraline Maroon, by the way. The next color is Van Gogh Indigo. It's a new blue for me. It's not as strong. I used to use in Danthrone Blue, but I'm finding that it really mixes well and it's giving me some really lovely darks. Let's just try to pick up a little bit. Again, I don't want to get too much in here.
I'm pretty happy with those mixes. So I'm trying to keep them on the softer side because mixing something with buff titanium is a lighter value. I'm not looking for full strength at all. But here you're seeing that it's getting darker with each mix. So I try to go the lightest, add a little bit more color and a little bit more. So now we're gonna mix these colors with the rest of these. So now we're gonna mix the mint julep with the Da Vinci Titan Buff. Want to see it change each time? Now you can really see what the dirtier white does to the colors that it's mixing with. You see that? This is a little more pure for them and this is a little dirtier. Now we're going to mix it with the Daniel Smith Pearling Red see what happens. Wow, that's pretty. This is a very beautiful red mixed with that. Now Van Gogh Indigo Blue. Oh, I like that color mix. You can see it's a little duller, a little more on the gray side. This one's really pretty. Okay, so you're seeing how I'm doing that. The rest I'm gonna do to music and fast forward so that we can get that to the end. And then I will come back and we'll talk about them. Enjoy the, watching the mixes. This is the Daniel Smith.
gonna let this dry, I'm gonna label them, and then I will be back and we'll talk about the differences. As you can see, there are a lot of them. I'll be excited to share this when I come back. They are so beautiful. And I'm gonna go over them one more time. This is American Journey Buff Titanium, Da Vinci Titan Buff, Daniel Smith Buff Titanium, Isaro Beige Titanium, Van Gogh Titanium Buff, Roman Schmal Buff Titanium. And then the mix was American Journey Mint Julep, Daniel Smith Perline Maroon, and then Van Gogh Indigo. I just want you to see the differences in the colors and what they did to the colors down here. So because these were lighter colors, you can see those rows are lighter. This row here was the dirtiest color, what I consider the dirtiest color, and you can see it really grayed everything down. So look at the blues down here. You'll see that, look how much darker these blues are, and that's because of the dirtiness of this color. You can see these three here, the American Journey, the Daniel Smith, and the Roman Schmal, they all have a yellow feel to them. So look what it did to the mint green, right? It gave it a more yellow cast. These, this one is definitely the lightest, which didn't change the color too much. But I really like what these two are more neutral, these three are more yellow, and then that one is really quite white. And you could also look at it as warm and cool color. So think of warm color as like the sun. Think of a cool color as like ice. So the warmer color for me would be these three yellows and the cooler colors would probably be these two. And that's shown here in the, in the grays or in the blues because you can see that they're more gray tone than they are blue tone. These and the yellows are quite bluer. So I'm gonna bring you up close. I'm gonna let you see all the buff titaniums first and then I will share the rows of this. I would love to know if you're currently using a brand of buff titanium. If not, which one would you choose? When you think about usage, if you are someone who paints a lot of flowers, you're probably gonna wanna keep the color brighter. So you would probably go with one of these two. If you're someone who does a lot of urban landscapes, so think about urban, it's usually dirty and graffiti and more old buildings. I would probably use more of these two because they have the grayer colors down here. If you are looking for something overall, I would probably go with either one of these two. Just because the colors are more natural looking, like if you look at these greens, it will make it more for landscapes or just everyday painting, in my opinion. So thinking about what you're going to be using your watercolors for makes a difference on your color choices for sure. If you are thinking about people and things like that, I would definitely go for a lighter tone like this to just maybe highlights. I would probably not add something like this because it is going to gray the skin tone down. You can see what it did to these colors here. They're great for shadow colors, but you wouldn't want them like to be the rosy cheek of someone where these two are a little lighter and a little better for that. So also when you're picking colors, really think about how you're going to be using them. Thank you for being on this journey as we explore Buff Titanium, my favorite all-time color. And if you were inspired by today's content, please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching.